Well, Cherie, this is a fire that is full of surprises. Uh, the biggest one is how could a playset underneath a bridge go to burn uh, a steel beams, melt them like they're made of candle wax. Well, we were able to get up under there and show you those a little earlier, but now they have closed off the entire Sawyer Point. They have tape around the entire park at this point. So let me show you what this looked like at three o'clock in the morning. What in the world? That is ridiculous. Yeah, flames come from underneath engulfing the bridge. Investigators say there were no hazardous materials. Fortunately, no injuries. It took about 60 firefighters to get this under control. Damages, estimates are in the millions. As of right now, uh, the, the goal is to get the northbound side inspected first. We think there's less damage there, so we're gonna try to get that inspected first. The southbound side is gonna remain closed until further notice, though we have some significant damage on the Ohio approach to the bridge. Yeah, this wasn't a small playground set with a couple of swing sets. This was uh, just one architectural aspect of this uh, was a river bait boat made of wood and synthetic materials. It wasn't much smaller than a real river boat. Added to that were other features. So there was a lot of material under this bridge. So how hot does it have to get to melt steel? Was about 2,600 degrees. Now wood will only burn at about 1,000 degrees and plastic goes up to about 2,000 degrees. So there's still a lot of questions about how a fire could get so hot to do this kind of damage uh, under this bridge. Reporting live, Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5. Yeah, and all of it happening so quickly too. Brian, I am wondering, is there any specific timeline yet on how long before they might be able to reopen the bridge or at least part of it? Yeah, they don't have a real good timeline on that. You hear him talking about trying to get the northbound open and then the southbound open, but they told us today that southbound is going to take some time. They didn't have any kind of a time frame, but I said, hey, would this be something similar to the Brent Spence? Remember when that was shut down? That was 41 days, and they said that wouldn't be a bad guideline at this point, Cherie. Wow, and remember that was when there was a fire on the bridge. All right, Brian Hamrick live for us tonight. Brian, thanks for that update. You know, one of the biggest questions tonight, exactly, again, what started this fire? That's right, and authorities say that they are already launching an extensive multi-agency investigation to determine a cause. WLWT News 5's Giacomo Luca has been talking with officials about the investigation. And Giacomo, what are they saying at this point? Well, Ashley and Cherie, officials say answers, unfortunately, will take time. Fire, Cincinnati Fire, along with the police department and tandem with federal agencies now working to investigate a cause. Little information known right now, but here's what they do know at this point. The fire started right under the bridge, later catching above, and despite early reports, authorities say no vehicle was involved. And as soon as the fire was out, officials say that investigation into a cause began. Cincinnati Fire Chief Frank McKinley saying the Thousand Hands playground underneath the bridge now seriously damaged. Crews have to sift through the remnants, documenting pretty much everything they can, while saying at this time the fire is not being considered suspicious. What we're trying to do is, is trying to determine the cause and we will be able to, uh, after we're able to assess all the information that we have, we'll be able to address um, how this fire actually started. You haven't ruled that out though, being suspicious. Okay, hey, thank you. You haven't ruled that out yet though, being suspicious. We haven't ruled anything out. For delicious margaritas.